everyone, Rose Gold Serpent here and welcome back to The Nest. In this episode I decided I was going to attempt to make an item sorter using redstone so it would be fully automated. I used two tutorials for this, both by Wattles that I'll link below. Also I've noticed another dip in audio quality, I promise I'm working on it. I spent some time gathering materials for the build using the video as a reference before I found the spot I wanted, just outside the compound and near the pointless bridge to the other village. I wanted to start levelling up my villagers in case I needed some materials and headed to the trading hall where I realised several of my villagers had escaped their prison. I forgot the stone cutter counted as a half slab and had to spend some time angrily rounding them back up again, back into their little holes. With my villagers finally rounded up again, I was finally able to get started with the item sorter. This will be the first time I've created anything redstone, so I anticipated the first attempt would be a failure. And I was right. After spending an hour or so building and running around to ensure I had the right parts, I thought it was finally ready for testing. However, there was a slight flaw. For some reason the dispenser wasn't letting the items down into the sorter. Which was when I noticed the date on the video and realised Wattles had a much newer item sorter video that was specifically for Bedrock. So, I knocked it all down and started again. I found the second tutorial a little easier to follow and watched the whole thing through twice before I started the actual building process. I've decided this section will be for mob drops because it was something I hoped wouldn't have a million chests attached and like something along the lines of food and that way it hopefully wouldn't take up too much space and it wouldn't be too hard for me to build something around it in terms of decoration and aesthetics. Once again I've sped the majority of this footage up because this took me about an hour and I don't have enough to talk about to fill an entire hour. There was a lot of starting and stopping involved as I stopped multiple times to watch and re-watch parts of the tutorial which I highly recommend as it's easy to follow and not crazy long either so it won't take up too much of your time. I had a little trouble with the circuits themselves but this was only because I was dumb and didn't realise that the redstone wouldn't light up until after I had locked in the object it was going to sort so I knocked it down and built it back together again and did that a couple times which was kind of pointless. There's also like a fair amount of running backwards and forwards because I didn't feel like moving my bed again but also didn't want to be out here every night. I also struggled in editing this footage because I wasn't sure how much you would want to watch from this perspective as it isn't quite the same as watching a speed build with the replay mod but I've tried to keep as much of it in as possible but also cut it out so it's not too long. Have fun with the music! Other than the fact it doesn't seem to want to sort ender pearls for whatever reason, I think it works pretty well. For a first attempt, I'm really pleased with how this project ended up. Once I've made it a little longer, it's gonna get decorated. I wanted to use brick for this build mainly because I hadn't used it before but really loved the appearance of it. Prior to this I did spend some time in the ocean looking for clay but with minimal luck. Thankfully one of my trading hall villagers is selling 10 bricks for one emerald and because of all the fishing I've done up to this point I have an endless supply of emeralds courtesy of the fisherman villager also in the trading hall. I've never built around something before either and I'm not the most accomplished builder so I anticipate struggles with the layout and build itself. 
So far all I've really decided is that it's going to be a long structure and that I want to try and hide the mechanics of the sorter itself to try and keep it all visually appealing. With this part of the build there was once again a lot of backwards and forwards travel between where I was working, my bed and the villages for all the trades. I also just wanted to take a moment to talk about some decisions about this series. I'd like to get it to about 50 episodes before I start a new world in Java. The reason I want to start a Java world is that it's a bit more difficult filming on Bedrock because I have to use my Switch and the Elgato and because of how my room is set up it's a little inconvenient. It'll also be just better all round, I'll be able to edit more, I'll be able to film more and hope these videos will get a little bit more length to them. I know they got shorter when I changed my editing method but I am still learning and I feel like I'm making good progress. I also just wanted to give myself time to grow and the channel to grow and the videos to grow but I'm really happy with how things have come along and the progress that I'm making. I'm so happy with how the channel has grown and how the videos are changing and I really feel like I'm starting to understand editing and figure out what I want from my videos and from my channel. And I'd also just like to take a moment to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and to everyone who watches, likes and comments on all these videos. It really means a lot to know that someone is watching and that they enjoy it so I really do appreciate every single one of you. I also want to try and get as many achievements as possible in this world because even though I've been playing Minecraft for about a decade there's so much I haven't done. I want to fight the Wither, explore an ocean monument and all sorts of other things. I also want to try a few mods that are on Java eventually. I've seen an avatar one I really like but that'll have to wait until the next series. In fact it may even be the next one I do because oh who doesn't love the legend of Aang. After some time building with the bricks I ended up with this weird double platform thing and I realised if I made the whole thing out of brick it was going to look horrendous and flat and boring. So I decided I would try using concrete for the exterior and some blue inside for a splash of colour. My main worry about using concrete is just the idea of damaging the redstone I've laid out. Also, in order to use bricks for the build, I was going to need to do a lot of trading with the fishermen and I began quickly to run out of fish. And even after half an hour of just straight fishing, I still only really ended up with like 15 emeralds, which didn't buy me that many bricks. So I went sand gathering to make concrete for the build, but also so I could smelt into some glass, which is far more profitable in the villager trades and would make my life just a whole lot easier. I then took a moment just to shove the rest of the mob loot I had into the sorter. It's there. I made it and I am going to use it, no matter how ugly it looks when I'm done. With my concrete powder made it was time to start laying out the boundary of the build. To start, as I'm not used to building around things, I'm just going to go around the sorter in the shape it already is and use that as a boundary. It's going to be weird, but hopefully doing it that way means I can just expand outwards rather than struggle to figure out what it is I'm trying to do. Once I've figured out the boundary, I will carefully go over it with water to solidify the blocks. It takes a lot less time to do this than to individually create it all. I will, for the top layers, be creating the concrete first so that I don't damage the redstone. There were definitely blips along the way before I got to add the water, and I'm starting to wish I hadn't picked white concrete of all colours, but it's done now, and I refuse to knock it all down. I've started, and therefore I will finish it. I pre-made some blue concrete to add a splash of colour to the inside, as well as getting rid of the glass which I felt ruined the aesthetic, not that anything I did improved it. Went squid hunting so I could get some ink sacks and make some black dye, cooked up some black concrete and started laying it down so as to break up the white concrete. I won't be adding any external decoration until I've built the initial structure, so I apologise for how barren and two dimensional this will look until much later down the line. It just is a bit much for me to decorate and design the structure itself. I just, I can't do it, I'm rubbish at building. So this is where we are at currently with the build. It isn't much, but hopefully over time I'll be able to make it into something half decent. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Minecraft. I hope you have enjoyed it and continue to do so for future episodes. Like, subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what you thought. And I will catch you later.